Sophia Leone, a celebrated actress and model, passed away at 26 after being found unresponsive in her New Mexico apartment. The incident, under investigation as a potential robbery, has left the entertainment community and her family seeking justice. Leone, known for her deep love for animals, her joy in traveling, and her talent in bringing smiles, made significant contributions to the entertainment industry with over 80 film credits since her debut in 2014. Her agency, friends, and family remember her as a kind-hearted individual who deeply impacted those around her. Steve Lawrence, a Grammy and Emmy-winning entertainer renowned for his dynamic partnership with his late wife, A.D. Gourmet, passed away at 88. His death was due to complications from Alzheimer's disease. Lawrence enjoyed a successful career in music, television, and film, delivering hits like Go Away Little Girl and starring in Broadway's What Makes Sammy Run. Known for his role in The Blues Brothers, Lawrence's legacy is marked by his significant contributions to the entertainment industry and his enduring musical partnership with Gourmet. Chris Mortensen, a distinguished NFL reporter and analyst for ESPN, passed away at the age of 72. Throughout his impressive career, Mortensen demonstrated exceptional resolve, especially during his public battle with cancer. Joining ESPN in 1991 after a successful tenure as a newspaper journalist, Mortensen became known for his insightful coverage, earning him the Dick McCann Award for his significant contributions to professional football reporting. Despite facing health challenges, he remained dedicated to his work, covering every Super Bowl from 1979 through 2015 and leaving a lasting legacy in sports journalism. Jean Allison, acclaimed for her roles on TV shows like Have Gun, Will Travel, and The Waltons, as well as films such as Edge of Fury, has passed away at the age of 94. With a career that highlighted her talent in both television and cinema, Allison's performances left a lasting mark on the entertainment industry. Born in New York in 1929, she brought to life numerous memorable characters over three decades. Allison's legacy lives on through her compelling work and her survivors, including her children, Aaron, Sven, and Tina. Betty Brodel, a talented actress and the older sister of Joan Leslie, passed away at 104 in Florida. Her filmography includes appearances alongside her sister in classics like Thank Your Lucky Stars and Hollywood Canteen, as well as roles in Yankee Doodle Dandy and Swing Hostess. Born in Detroit in 1920, Brodel initially performed in vaudeville with her siblings before transitioning to film. Married to Joe Franzalia until his passing in 1999, she leaves behind a legacy of entertainment, survived by her children Tony and Chuck and her grandchildren. We lost the hilarious Richard Lewis, the 76-year-old comedian, known for his high-strung jokes and iconic curb role, passed away peacefully at his home. He'd been battling Parkinson's and retired from stand-up last year, but his friend Larry David, they were practically brothers, said he always made them laugh. Lewis will be remembered for his wit, unique delivery, and ability to bring the funny, even through life's struggles. The world lost a fashion icon with the passing of Iris Apfel at 102. Known for her vibrantly eccentric style and larger-than-life personality, Apfel transcended trends and inspired generations with her unique approach to fashion. Beyond her bold attire, she was a businesswoman, interior designer, and textile expert who left her mark on various creative fields. Her story will continue to inspire people to embrace individuality and express themselves through style. Dave Myers, one half of the popular British cooking duo The Harry Bikers, passed away at 66. He was known for his friendly personality, delicious recipes, and motorbike adventures with co-star Cy King. Together they brought joy to kitchens around the world. He will be deeply missed. Longtime character actor Charles Deerkopf, known for roles in Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid and Policewoman, passed away at 87. He recently faced health challenges and passed away in a California hospital. Deerkopf played the memorable Flat Nose Curry alongside Paul Newman and Robert Redford. He also had parts in shows like Star Trek and Mission Impossible. Actor Kenneth Mitchell, known for playing Klingons on Star Trek Discovery and Carol Danvers' dad in Captain Marvel, passed away at 49 after a five-year battle with ALS. Diagnosed in 2018, Mitchell continued acting, using a wheelchair and sharing his story publicly. He cherished his family and aimed to bring a unique perspective to Klingon characters. Fans will remember him for his diverse roles on screen, both villainous and heroic. 
We lost actor Chris Gauthier at the age of 48. You might recognize him from shows like Eureka, Smallville, or Once Upon a Time. He also appeared in movies like Freddy vs. Jason. Fellow actors shared their love for Chris online, calling him kind, talented, and someone who always gave his all. Our thoughts are with his family and friends. We lost actress Pamela Salem at the age of 80. You might remember her from classic shows like Doctor Who and Blake Seven, or even a glimpse as Bond's secretary in Never Say Never Again. Her colleagues loved her warmth and kindness, saying she always brought a smile and a hug to set. Though her role in Never Say Never Again was cut short, she still leaves behind a legacy of diverse characters on British TV and beyond. We lost actor Buddy Duress at the young age of 38. You might know him from the movie Good Time with Robert Pattinson. He also acted in other films and had a real interesting life story. Rest in peace, buddy. We lost actor Tony Ganios at the age of 64. You might know him as Meat from the Porky's movies. His fiance shared the sad news that he passed away after surgery. Ganios also starred in The Wanderers and Die Hard 2 and had roles on shows like The Equalizer. Rest in peace, Tony. Renowned actress Anne Whitfield passed away at the age of 85. You might remember her as the young Susan Waverly in the holiday favorite White Christmas. She actually starred in the movie at just 15. Whitfield wasn't just a Christmas movie star, though. She had a long career on TV shows like I Married Joan and The Six Million Dollar Man. Later in life, she moved to Washington and became a champion for the environment and her community. E. Duke Vincent, the guy who brought us Dynasty and Beverly Hills, passed away at the age of 91. Before Hollywood, Duke was actually a fighter pilot for the Blue Angels, those amazing jet plane performers. He then went on to create a ton of shows, giving us over 2,300 hours of entertainment. Rest in peace, Duke. Cagney Lynn Carter, a renowned actress and model, passed away at 36 in Cuyahoga County, Ohio. Celebrated for her vibrant presence in the entertainment world and beyond, Carter was also admired for her contributions to modeling and dancing. Despite her professional success, she faced personal challenges with bravery. Carter's legacy, characterized by her talent and generosity, leaves a lasting impact on her community and fans. She is remembered fondly for her kindness and dedication to her passions. Henry Fambro, one of the original members of The Spinners, passed away peacefully at the age of 85. The spinners gave us all those jams we love, like It's a Shame and Could It Be I'm Falling in Love. They even got into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame last year. Fambro was the last of the original group, but his music will definitely keep on playing. Rest in peace, Henry. Cecilia Gentili, an actress and champion for LGBTQ rights, passed away at the age of 52. She starred in Pose and dedicated her life to supporting transgender people and entertainment workers. Her legacy includes a healthcare program for entertainment workers and an upcoming one-woman show. Rest in peace, Cecilia. Country music fans are mourning the loss of Toby Keith, who passed away at 62 after battling stomach cancer for two years. We all know his hits like Should Have Been a Cowboy and Red Solo Cup, and he was a big name in country music for decades. He also gave back through his own charity and wasn't shy about sharing his political views. We lost a Hollywood legend. Don Murray passed away at the age of 94. You might remember him from that classic film Bus Stop with Marilyn Monroe. But Murray was more than just a pretty face. He starred in a ton of movies, from westerns to dramas, and even had his own TV show later on. He even directed a movie himself. Rest in peace, Don. Wayne Kramer, a pioneer of punk rock with his band MC5, passed away at the age of 75. MC5's music, like Kick Out the Jams, influenced countless bands. Kramer kept playing music after MC5 and even worked with legends like Rage Against the Machine. Rest in peace, Wayne. Actor Carl Weathers, who many of us know from Rocky and The Mandalorian, passed away at the age of 76. Before he was wowing us on screen, Weathers was actually a football player, but he traded the field for the stage and landed the iconic role of Apollo Creed in the Rocky movies. 
He also showed his funny side in comedies like Happy Gilmore and Arrested Development. Most recently, he joined the Star Wars universe as Grief Karga in The Mandalorian. We'll miss you, Carl. We lost a stop-motion animation icon with the passing of Mark Gustafson at 64. You might know him for co-directing the amazing Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio, which won an Oscar last year. But Gustafson's been in the game for ages, working on classics like The California Raisins and even Wes Anderson's Fantastic Mr. Fox. He was a true artist who wasn't afraid to push boundaries, and his Pinocchio reimagining is a testament to that. Cheetah Rivera, the amazing actress who brought characters like Anita in West Side Story and Velma Kelly in Chicago to life, passed away at 91. For over 60 years, she wowed audiences on Broadway, racking up Tony Awards and even a Kennedy Center honor. Her passion and talent will definitely leave a mark on the theater world. Hinton Battle, known for playing the Scarecrow in The Wiz on Broadway, passed away at 67. He won three Tony Awards for acting and was also a choreographer. He will be remembered for his talent and contributions to the stage and screen. Italian film star Sandra Milo passed away at 90. She was known for her roles in Fellini's movies, Eight and a Half Inches, and Juliet of the Spirits. A beloved figure in Italy, she was both a talented actress and a popular talk show host. Melanie, the singer behind Brand New Key and Lay Down, Candles in the Rain, passed away at 76. You might remember her from her mind-blowing performance at Woodstock back in 69. It was epic, even though it wasn't in the original movie, they added it later. Melanie's music was all about powerful vocals and heartfelt lyrics, and her signature candlelit concerts created a truly special experience. Brand New Key became a huge hit in 1971, and she kept making music for over 50 years. Charles Osgood the familiar face who guided viewers through CBS Sunday Morning for 22 years, passed away at 91. Known for his bow tie and heartwarming stories, he also anchored other CBS news programs and had a popular radio show. He retired in 2016 after a 40-year career at CBS, leaving behind a legacy of gentle storytelling and journalistic integrity. Actor Gary Graham, who played memorable roles in sci-fi shows like Alien Nation and Star Trek Enterprise, passed away at 73. He was well known for his portrayal of Detective Sykes in Alien Nation and the Vulcan Ambassador Sovel in Star Trek. He also had a long career in television and film, appearing in shows like The Incredible Hulk and The Dukes of Hazard. Mary Weiss, the lead singer of the iconic girl group The Shangri-Las, passed away at 75. Their hit song Leader of the Pack became a defining tune of the 1960s. Weiss continued performing and even released a solo album later in her career, leaving behind a legacy of powerful vocals and timeless music. Norman Jewison, the versatile filmmaker behind classics like In the Heat of the Night and Moonstruck, passed away at his Los Angeles home at 97. He directed a wide range of popular films across various genres, earning Academy Awards recognition and leaving a lasting impact on cinema. Remember the pilot guy in the classic zombie flick Dawn of the Dead, David M.G.? Sadly, he passed away recently at 77. He wasn't just a zombie chaser in the movie, he actually served in the Vietnam War before becoming an actor. He'll definitely be missed, but his legacy as the iconic flyboy will live on. Actor David Gale, known for his roles on Beverly Hills and Port Charles, passed away at 58. He played Brenda's fiance on Beverly Hills and Dr. Joe Scanlon on the soap opera. His sister announced the news and remembered him as a loving brother and friend. Marlena Shaw, known for the hit California Soul, passed away peacefully at 81. Her daughter shared the news, saying she passed listening to music. Shaw, a talented vocalist, released 17 albums and is remembered for her soulful voice and timeless music. We lost a Canadian icon, Noreen Virgin, best known for playing Jody on the kids' show Today's Special, passed away at 77, but she was so much more than an actress. Virgin was also a teacher, news presenter, and a strong voice for social justice. On Today's Special, she brought the store displays to life, sparking imaginations during the 80s. 
Later, she became a news anchor, paving the way for more black women on Canadian TV. Joyce Randolph, the last surviving actor from The Honeymooners, passed away at 99. She played the witty Trixie Norton opposite Jackie Gleason and Audrey Meadows in the classic sitcom. Though short-lived, the show became a comedy favorite. Randolph started her career on stage and TV before landing the iconic role. Fans continued to recognize her for decades, a sign of the show's lasting impact. Actor Alec Musser passed away at the age of 50. His fiancée shared the news on social media, remembering him as the love of her life. Musser might be familiar for his role on the soap opera All My Children or his hilarious part in Adam Sandler's Grown Ups. He also appeared on shows like Desperate Housewives and even did some fitness modeling. It's a sad loss, and our thoughts are with Alex's family and friends. Bill Hayes, known for playing Doug on Days of Our Lives for over 50 years, passed away at 98. He was a soap opera legend, appearing in over 2,000 episodes. Beyond the soap, Hayes was also a successful singer and Broadway actor. He'll be remembered for his charm and dedication to entertaining audiences. Actress Lynn Marta, known for roles in Joe Kidd and Footloose, passed away at 78. She battled cancer before her death. Marta appeared in many shows like Love, American Style, and Starsky and Hutch. She also acted alongside Clint Eastwood and Kevin Bacon in movies. Marta was a talented actress remembered for her work on both TV and film. British director Roy Battersby, known for films like Leeds United that tackled social issues, passed away at 87. He faced challenges for his activism but continued directing shows like Between the Lines. Remembered for his bold storytelling, he received a BAFTA Lifetime Award. Actor Peter Crombie, most recognized for playing Crazy Joe Davola on Seinfeld, passed away at 71. His ex-wife shared the news, remembering him as a kind and talented man. Fans will remember Crombie's character for being Jerry's arch nemesis, the one guy who just couldn't stop bugging him. But beyond Seinfeld, Crombie had a long career in TV and movies, appearing in shows like Law and & Order and films like Seven. Actor Aidan Canto, known for roles in Designated Survivor and The Cleaning Lady, passed away at 42 after battling appendicial cancer. He played memorable roles on shows like The Following and Narcos, and in the movie X-Men, Days of Future Past. Remembered by colleagues as a talented actor and friend, Canto leaves behind a wife, two children, and a legacy of strong performances. Actor Christian Oliver, known for his role in Speed Racer, passed away in a plane crash with his two young daughters. They were all 51, 12, and 10 years old, respectively. The cause of the crash is still under investigation. Oliver had been in several other shows and movies throughout his career, including The Babysitter's Club and Indiana Jones. Our thoughts are with their family and friends during this difficult time. Glynis Johns, the actress who played Mrs. Banks in Mary Poppins, passed away at 100. She also won a Tony Award for her role in A Little Night Music. Johns had a long career in film, theater, and TV, bringing charm and humor to many roles. She will be remembered for her delightful performances. Remember Starsky and Hutch? The iconic detective duo? Actor David Soul, who played Hutch, passed away at 80 after battling an illness. Soul's career went beyond that unforgettable role. He charmed audiences in shows like Here Come the Brides and even dabbled in music, scoring a hit with the song Don't Give Up On Us. Family and friends remember him for his positive energy and passion for life. Renowned actor Harry Johnson passed away at the age of 81. You might recognize him from shows like Battlestar Galactica, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, or even M.A.S.H. He was a familiar face on TV for over 40 years, playing everything from pilots to everyday folks. Johnson also voiced characters in video games and even wrote a couple of novels. He was a true creative force who will be missed. 